So you're probably wondering, Romania, what is Romania? I know nothing about Romania. Well, you do know something, you giant buffoon. If you've ever heard of Dracula, then you know something about Romania. Let's celebrate your knowledge. So Dracula, from the famous book called Dracula, resided in Transylvania at the castle on the top of a hill. Then Romanian tourism decided that that castle is gonna be Bran Castle, although it had nothing to do with Dracula. You can visit it in person and say that you were in a Dracula castle. Fun fact, the dude who wrote Dracula that was based on Transylvania never actually visited Romania. Some say that he based his Dracula on an actual person called Vlad III. He also has a cute nickname, Vlad the Impaler. Why is he called that? I will leave that to your imagination. But the castle, the Dracula castle, is a real place. And yes, Transylvania is also a real place. Sometimes when people ask me where I'm from and I say Slovenia, they asked me if I said Transylvania and then they proceed to laugh. And then I ask them, why did you say Transylvania and then laugh like it's funny? And then they say, you do know that Transylvania is a made up place, right? To which they proceed to look at me like I'm the idiot. If you hate old buildings and you want skyscrapers that have 65 floors and can house 6,722 people on top of each other, you will be bored in Romania, especially in Bucharest, which is sometimes known as Little Paris. This town has buildings that were built in Baroque, Neoclassical and Art Nouveau style. But now they are trendy bars and cutesy cafes and local shops. You can even find inns that were built in 1833. So if you want to share a room with the ghost of a traveler from 19th century, then that's the place for you. If you don't know how to read, I would stay away from a giant library. I would also advise you to learn to read. This giant library is a thousand square meter space and it has over 10 thousand books that's a whole lot of words so that kind of stuff can be intimidating if you don't know what to do with yourself in those places if you believe in the paranormal boo and you want to stay the heck away from it i would avoid the hoya forest this place has long been known for the mysterious events that take place in that place and it was even described as a gate to another dimension. So this forest is one of the most active in the world in terms of paranormal phenomenon. Nah, nah. The trees alone grow in illogical ways. Visitors to the forest report strange symptoms such as nausea, anxiety, the feeling of being watched. This forest is not for the weak. So if you really don't like haunted places, don't come to Romania. Because this town is listed as one of the most haunted places in the world. But it's also the birthplace. It is also the birthplace of Vlad III. Best of luck to everyone. If you are a massive fan of Pentagon and you don't like the idea that Pentagon has rivals, don't come to Romania. Parliament in Bucharest is the world's second largest administrative building. This building started in 1984 and is still unfinished. It is over 330,000 square meter building and has more than 3,000 rooms. What? The building is 84 meters high. That is taller than average skyscraper in New York. Take that concrete jungle wet juice tomato. It is also the heaviest building in the world, so definitely don't drop it on anyone. If you easily get car sick or just generally hate curvy roads, I'd stay the heck away from Romania. Transfer Transfer Garrison is regarded as one of the most thrilling highways in the world. And it is located in, whoever answers that, gets a cookie. It offers 90 kilometers of pure fun. 
or hell depends on how you view such roads. The road climbs to an altitude of 2,042 meters, making it the second highest mountain pass in Romania. It has more tunnels than any road in Romania. It was also featured in a British TV show, Top Gear. First episode of season 14. Look at Romania being super mega famous. If you don't like the idea of something being exclusive to one place, meaning you can't have it, Romania is gonna make you mad. This national park includes 20,000 hectares of nature preserve with over a thousand plant species, of which a hundred of them are endemic, meaning they cannot be seen anywhere else in the world. The park also has 80 glacial lakes. So for those of you who love to trash nature, and just generally act so dense that the light bends around you. This park is a protected area. So for those of you who leave the apartment just to be loud and obnoxious, go someplace else instead of Romania, okay? Like London. If you like going everywhere with a car and you think that public transit is only for peasants, don't even bother coming to Romania and learn some manners, sir. Romania has 22,298 kilometers of rail network, which is the 15th most extensive in the world. Bucharest's mass transit network is the fourth largest in Europe. You might think that European public transit looks like this, but don't worry, that's a picture from 1968. Things are different now. We have helmets and a will to live sometimes. However, if you prefer super fast trains, such as bullet trains, or just generally trains that are on time, you might find it difficult to commute in Romania. Trains there can be slow, and sometimes they miss windows, and they're almost never on time. But you know what? If that's a problem, just stay home. Don't even bother leaving your house, your perfect town that has all the perfect public transit that you just perfectly want to do. If you hate festivals and fun and folklore, what are you even doing with your life, bro? But most importantly, stay away from Romania. Romania has a big number of festivals that celebrate their culture. These festivals bring a lot of joy to local people, visitors and their grandmas. Watch out Toronto Film Festival, there's another TIFF on the block and it's Transylvania International Film Festival. Woo! They're celebrating traditional music and clothing and dishes. These festivals provide a glimpse into the country's rural traditions and colorful costumes. There's also a very famous jazz festival for both Romanian and international jazz musicians. Then there's also Romanian Wine Festival. Romania has a thriving wine culture and several wine festivals take place throughout the country where visitors can taste a wide variety of wines, enjoy traditional food and learn about winemaking traditions. All terrible things to experience if you've never gone further than your white picket fence. Oh snap. If you prefer sugar and spice and everything nice, don't come to Romania. They have salt mines, lots of them. Of Romania's 17 salt mines, the most famous one is Turda's salt mine, which is still operational. You can tour the mine and take advantage of therapy. Not just this kind of therapy, but this kind of therapy. This kind of therapy in a salt mine involves breathing in the salty air, which is good for your lungs, in your nostrils, I think. Breathing in salty air in a salt mine is way different than breathing the air of your salty friend who is very jealous that you're in Romania having the time of your life and all she can do is watch it on her laptop. Hi Becky, you suck. Do be alarmed that when you visit salt mines, it can be very cold or very refreshing, depends on where you live, okay? Don't come at me. 
The average temperature in there is 10 degrees Celsius, which is 50 degrees Fahrenheit for my American friends. The salt from Turdos salt mine alone could cover the salt requirement for the entire planet for 60 years. I think we just solved the big salt question. Yay for Romania. So these are all the reasons why you should never ever visit Romania. Subscribe for more stuff and check out my other stuff. Now leave.